Welcome to the sights and sounds of the opening weekend of the new Cleburne Golf Links. A few VIPs who helped contribute to the development of the course got the chance to play first, led by city manager Chester Nolan. It was a practice round of sorts, with lots of firsts. Matt birdied the first hole, did he? Yeah. Wow, that's great. It was, and actually, it was a gimme, but we made him put it. You made him put it. <laughs> we wanted a group. The we dignitaries came back the next day to join Chamber President Kathy Marshall, architect John Colligan, WFAA's Dale Hampson, and Mayor Ted Reynolds for a ribbon cut. To have such a gorgeous course, and if you have time, please take a chance to take a look around because it's breathtaking. Every hole on this, I drove around yesterday, and every hole is just absolutely great. But, you know, this thing started six years ago, and I didn't know what I was getting into. Uh, I went back before I came out here and looked at some of the original correspondence that uh, I had with Max Robertson. And it was uh, July 20th, uh, 2003 was the first time we got together. And, uh, you know, it's just from there... We went through about 20 or 30, close to 30 concepts, trying to figure out which land to use and what we were going to do. And then we'd decide on something, and then something would change, and we'd change it again. And I mean, we've been through so many gyrations. And, and I know the mayor's, you know, has said a lot of kind things about uh, the city staff. But being, well, I don't consider myself an outsider anymore. But, uh, you know, the people that you have working here in the city, uh, within the city, I mean, they're just marvelous. It's, it's amazing uh, how much patience they have with people like me, and fortunately they don't have to deal with Mr. Hansen. On well, I played with my grandfather up until he was 83 years old, and he was blind from diabetes. And, and I would tee the ball up for him, and then he would hit it about 120 yards down the fairway. And I would run down the fairway ahead of him and toss it about 40, 50 yards away. <laughs> and he'd be driving along. He'll word my ball. And I said, oh, Pops, you really nailed this one. You really nailed this one. Which is where I learned to cheat on a golf course. <laughs> we did our job right. If we did our job right, which I feel like we did, you know, we gave Cleaver the most bang for the buck. And I think you're going to be attracting people from near and far to come out here and play. And uh, I really appreciate you all uh, making me feel uh, like part of the Cleburne family here. Uh, I mean, this is really a great. But, uh, I, I, what a great turnout! And I appreciate all of you coming out and sharing this uh, really special day with us. And Dale, thank you very much for agreeing to come down here. That was very nice of you. Uh, gosh, it's kind of hard to know what to say. Uh, obviously, you know, from start to finish, just like any other major project, there's always a little controversy about this, that, and the other. But you know what? There's one thing that all of us have always agreed on. And that is a top-notch city deserves a top-notch golf course, and we do have that. On the 4th of July, the first group from the public came to play, led by Cleaver native Neil Logan. Next off, Kirk Kelly. Then, Ted McPherson. The last golfer of the group, Trent Logan. That's Sergeant Trent Logan of the United States Army. Trent, uh, going back to Afghanistan? Uh, yes, sir. What do you do over there? Um, well, I'm in the 82nd Airborne Division. Uh, thoughts about playing this golf course before heading back? Uh, it's a great honor to be out here, especially getting off the, the tee box first. And uh, I'll get buddies of mine that work out here, and uh, it's good. I think it's a good thing for Cleveland. It's a great honor to have you here. Thank you. Thanks a lot. A perfect and fitting way to open Cleveland Golf Links. Call 817-641-4501 for tea time. But it is, uh, it is a fantastic thing I think this city has done here. I, I love golf because uh, when you put the kids' tees in, you've got a 7,000-yard golf course. You've got a beautiful view of the lake. I haven't had a chance to see all of it, but just the sights that I've seen in the first couple of holes, I, I think you have something special here. And to have a municipal golf course for the fees that you're charging, uh, I think it's a tremendous benefit to the community. It's a tremendous Call 817-641-4501 for tea times.